Now, apart from satellites, apart from tracking, there is one more way people have invented. In fact, I would say it's the most ingenious way of working with OpenStreetMap. And that is called field papers. So now uh, Amit will tell you more about what are field papers. I mean, all of you must have had geography in your school time, right? So you are asked to make a map of, uh, I mean, from your school to your home, let's say. So can you make that, that kind of map even now? Okay. You make a map and then you import that map that you have made with your hand onto the OSM thing. So field papers is about that. So it provides you with a satellite map, satellite images of that area. Then what you do is you walk around with that page, printed page that you have. And that printed page, then you mark on that printed page. Okay, so let's say you walk down this lane. Then there is a shop there, so you mark that shop on that map. Okay, so this is this shop. Then you go further, then there is a medical store, you mark that. So all these markings you do on the paper, you take a scan of this particular paper, or you take a photo of this particular paper and upload it onto the field papers site. So once you upload this, this handwritten notes of yours will be available for you in the map. So once you have these printouts, you give them out to the students. So students will mark places on this paper and then they can upload it back to this site. Okay. I'll show you how to make the pages. So let's say I again tie, go to Nagpur in this case. So this is the current area. This is very large area actually. This almost covers the entire town. I don't want it to be that large. Okay, so I can reduce it here. So let's say you decide upon that this particular area is not marked in your map. In the satellite images, this area is not marked. Okay, so you take your rectangles to that particular area and uh, so then you can decide upon uh, with the students that uh, this batch of students will do this particular area and if you want to add you can add more pages like this okay so i'll say nagpur west i'll just choose the utm grid overlay and it says finished okay so it's preparing my atlas now and we'll see atlas gives you a uh, few options. One is only map you want or you want also an area where you can take the notes. Or you want map plus notes or map without notes. So what you get is an A4 sheet. Half of the A4 sheet would be map and the remaining half would be just a blank white paper. So it says download PDF. Okay, so this is the map that is currently there. In this, I mean, you have multiple options for the background. Well, first one is the open street map. So if there is nothing in your town, nothing will come out there. Better option would be satellite only or satellite plus labels. Okay, so that way, I mean, you'll have a satellite map printed onto a paper. I'm going to give an assignment now. Should I? Okay, the assignment is as follows. Go to the place where you like anywhere on the earth. I mean, it could be the same place where you are already making some maps. Go to fieldpapers.org. You can use the same user ID that you have already used on osm.org. So, uh, so what is it that you have to do? Go to your area, create two or four pages of the field papers and create one PDF file with three or four pages. Okay. Name the PDF accurately because uh, field papers will create the name of the file automatically. After you downloaded the PDF file onto your machine, rename the file. You know, based on, let us say, it is Nagpur West field papers. So what you now do is, you have to go to your area on studio.tis.edu and you have to upload this PDF. Print it. Take it in your hand. Start walking on the road. Okay, this is ATM, HDFC Bank. Go a little further and then mark on the paper. It's very easy, very commonsensical, so easy to map, accurate. Because on the background you have the 
very light colored satellite map. On top, you take a pen and directly write on top of it. And let me tell you, if you do it properly, you will take at least two days to fill one field paper. It is that much of data here. So what you have to do is, you have to tell, let's say if you are giving C1 paper to a student, let's say this is one student group, I am giving all of them C1 and I tell them, okay, on the, on the C1 you make, uh, let's say three areas, mark like this and then say C1A will be done by him, C1B will be done by him, C1 three will be done by him. Only thing that you have to do is that on each page, at least identify one landmark before the students leave the college for the field work. There will be a lot of uh, pen writings, right? I don't know how many of you have seen this paper? All of you have seen it, right? Did you notice that there is a small box here? QR code. Now, what is the advantage of this QR code? Just take a picture using your mobile or maybe your camera, digital camera. Take a picture and then transfer that picture, upload the picture to fieldpapers.org. Then because this code is there and you have these dots also, that means even if your picture is slightly distorted because you know this paper is very nice now but not after the field work. After the field work this paper will be you know quite crumpled, you know you might have done like this. You can do all that, no problem. After everything is done, just keep it on a paper, take a picture, okay? Because these dots will help the software to do the processing and keep it exactly at the place where that background should go. And now you see lines are there, dots are there and areas are marked. Because you are doing exactly these three things, you will have the entire notes on your screen. Now start filling and typing the area. If there is a line there, you just mark the line. Start line, end line, make the line and then write down the, suppose you know the road name, you write down the road name. If there is a rectangle which is a medical shop, then make that rectangle and then say this is a medical shop. So there are many ways you can contribute to OSM. Our experience is that almost all the students who have done the field papers work, they are very happy. They draw a line, they see the line there. That is positive feedback for all the children. You don't have to tell them, any, you don't have to give them any marks. Marks is already given by the OSM because they have already seen their data, it's live. I'll show you something from Talasari. So this is a this is a field paper of Talasari, and one of the students has marked quite a lot of information on this field paper. So you can see uh, different numbers written over here. Some text he has added. Okay, so like this is quite a very uh, so this is a guy called Ashraf Sheikh. So he's added quite a lot of objects there, and on back of this he has written out what those numbers are. Okay. So these numbers can be seen that like uh, 17 number is Nikum, 18 number is Tata Tower and all that. Okay, so once you upload this file, this is how we, it appears in the field papers. Okay, so I'll just zoom into this thing. And you can see this is the, this is what he has marked as BP. Okay, so this is the Bharat Petroleum. And here he has put a point called Bharat Petroleum. Okay, so this is how we have to edit using uh, the field papers thing. And if you go below, so this he has marked as hospital. So he has put a point of hospital there. So once you upload the file, it will automatically find the location of that, where that uh, PDF was created for. And it will take you to that, that place. It will ask you whether you want to edit it. When you go to edit, you will get a file as background instead of the satellite images. So one more thing I wanted to show you, uh, this is from Talasari again. So this is how Talasari looked on the map before we went there. 
ओके यू कैन सी ओनली द हाईवे सो द मुंबई अहमदाबाद हाईवे पासेस थ्रू तलासरी यू हैव नो ट्रेस ऑफ द टाउन देयर ओके सो देर वॉज नथिंग देर आई मीन एक्चुअली लिटरली नथिंग यू कैन सी इट हियर देन दिस इज अबाउट अ मंथ लेटर इन फेब्रुवरी फर्स्ट आई मीन सम रोड्स हैव बीन एडेड दिस इज अ कॉलेज and some school has been added some roads have been added and this is this is much later okay so this is about uh, a month later again so you can see the richness of the information and uh, about uh, 40% or 50% of the students come from nearby villages so this road now continues till like uh, 15 20 kilometers ahead they they have taken it to their villages where they come from they added schools in their villages and all that so this was a very enriching experience for them also all the people who visit that area will see that line and if they have an account they'll be able to see who contributed that line so one of the interesting thing that happens in free software unlike in proprietary software is every contribution every small contribution goes into the history book everybody's name is there what they did when they did is all recorded wikipedia for example I don't know how many of you visited Wikipedia. It's a stupid question to ask. The moment you search, you land up on Wikipedia. Now the second question I'm asking: How many of you know that there is something called a talk page? Every page has a talk page. Uh, click on any article. Yeah, let's say geological gardens. You see the article, and then there is talk. so talk page is a place where all the art contributors who are contributing to that page are negotiating with each other discussing with each other the free software community the geek community is documenting history so meticulously they are telling how it is made people don't have information of how anything is made we only know that particular paper is published some software is made some car is manufactured but the process of making is not documented you know there, there's a very a, a very interesting way how the social transformation is possible through this kind of digital literacy so this digital literacy can transform people into makers and then the the footprints of those makers is left as traces in the cyber world so right now i'm seeing the mumbai talk page and uh, you can see all the discussions that are happening in the mumbai talk page there are about 15 pages i mean it's so long okay now is the time for all of you to make a field paper two or four page pdf and you have to upload on studio.artist.edu